what's happening? It's Richard here. Welcome to a very, 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 stop it, special episode of comics. Now, in case you haven't seen the last few episodes of comics, nor follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you probably didn't know that I attended the New York Comic Con. And this entire video, this is going to be the longest episode of comics, I'm sure, is dedicated to every single day, every single thing that I did at Comic-Con, at least all the interesting stuff. Now, for those of you who have no idea what the New York Comic-Con is, here's a little bit of exposition for you. So the New York Comic-Con takes place at the Japit Center in the beautiful New York City. And the convention is huge. It is basically the San Diego of the East Coast. It is a massive convention. But anyways, this is uh, my second year going to the New York Comic Con. I went last year for a day, but it was still a really fun day. But this year, I wanted more. I wanted to go for three days. And you know what? That's exactly what I did. So the day I left for New York Comic Con, it was Thursday. It was about uh, maybe 9.30 or 10 o'clock in the morning. I went with my friend Joe and my father. We packed our bags, lugged them into my car, and just started driving. Just drove. We just went. We just... You get the idea. Now, our road trip wasn't anything like you'd seen in the movies. Like, we didn't lose a car in a bet. We didn't get attacked by a bunch of crazy people dressed as clowns. Nor did we meet a group of flying nuns that we all thought were wizards because we were too high on mushrooms. No, it was basically just a straight AZ type deal, you know, we just went from Ohio to New Jersey where our hotel was, and that's that. Eventually, after about eight hours of driving, we finally made it to the Howard Johnson Hotel in Newark, New Jersey, where we uh, decided to stay. And the hotel itself was... okay. I mean, I guess you could say it varies in all the stuff that's bad and all the stuff that's good about it. For example, on the bad side, uh, it was incredibly dilapidated. <laughs> but on the good side, the bacon was really freaking awesome. So, dilapidation, bacon, it kind of balances out. But anyway, so we arrived at the hotel, but uh, we were only there for an hour because we decided, you know, let's just hit the Jaffet Center, it's still open, and I needed to get my pass, so that's what we went to do. And here's my pass. I got my uh, white lanyard, which is basically a white version of the lanyard from last year. But the pass is actually a lot cooler. It's actually got a theme to it, so that's cool. But anyways, right after I got my press badge, I uh, was uh, invited to go to this really cool bat chat that was set up by this awesome person named uh, Ashley Davis, who you should follow on Twitter. Link down below. And uh, my friend, Dr. Travis Langley, who wrote an awesome Batman book on Batman and psychology was going to be there and he kind of mentioned it to me and then I got invited and I'm glad I did because it was such a fun time to start off my weekend. And of course while I was there I had to get Travis to sign his awesome Batman book. Be jealous people. So now we're at day one, Friday, day one for me of Comic Con. And day one was awesome. It was, it's, it's arguably my favorite day. So. We're pretty excited. We got some fun stuff we're gonna be doing. I got uh, this Nikon camera to take some pictures. And uh, we're gonna have a blasty blast, I think. We're gonna have a good time. So Joe and I arrived at the convention center at around 10.30 or so. And, you know, the place was packed. There was people all over the place, sitting down, standing up, walking around, looking at panels, you know, shopping, doing all that fun stuff as you usually do. It was, it was definitely uh, a good, a good, awesome time good awesome time. That sounds weird. And I gotta say, probably one of the coolest things I filmed while I was there is a really like fun entrance into the convention center. It was basically this dark tunnel that was themed like uh, the new Ninja Turtles TV show on Nickelodeon, which is awesome. You have to check it out. It's pretty good. This is the uh, Ninja Turtles hallway. Whoa! This is crazy. Just living in here. Why not? However, even though I loved the Ninja Turtles thing, if I had to pick one thing that was the coolest thing about day one, was basically this. The man himself. Grant freaking Morrison. And this. If you haven't figured it out yet, I basically saw a bunch of people. Basically, I saw a bunch of my heroes. 
However, even though I loved all those people, you know, Grant, Guillermo, all those amazing people, none of them compare to this moment. <laughs> yes, ladies and germs, I finally, 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 finally met Scott Snyder in friggin' person. Now, we do know each other. I mean, he's seen episodes of comics, and we've talked on the phone, Twitter, and Facebook, and all that stuff, but we never actually met in person. And, as usual, he was as nice as can be. I, I shook his hand, said hello, got a picture, and it was, it was definitely the coolest time that day. And that was day one, basically. It was just fun, like, roaming around, getting to see all this awesome stuff. Then after we hit the convention center, Joe and I decided to go have lunch in Times Square at the Hard Rock, which was pretty awesome. But then after the Hard Rock, Joe and I went into the Toys R Us in Times Square, we went into the Disney Store in Times Square, and then to end the day, we just sat in the middle of Times Square. Hey guys, what's happening? So, uh, we're kicking it, chilling it. Is, is that even, a, that's not even a thing, but I'm gonna make it a thing, we're chilling it. And, uh, it's nightlife Times Square. Woo! Wait, I gotta do a 360. 360. And we're back at Joe. Hi, how you doing? That's Times Square. It is a lot better just to sit in the middle of Times Square, isn't it? It's nice at night. It looks like day. No, seriously, we, we went to eat the Hard Rock. We forgot that it actually turns night here. But anyways, that is the end of day one of Comic-Con. Joe, how is day one for you? Uh, pretty good, and a few rough spots, but pretty good. Now, day two of New York Comic Con was actually more of a work day, because I was actually doing something important. So now when I told Dan, who runs Director's Cut Radio, that I, well, that I was planning to go to New York Comic Con, and I needed a little help to get the press badge so I could get it for the website, he said, sure, why not? And then uh, he found out that there was these two big uh, movies that they were going to be talking about at New York Comic Con, and he wanted me to be a part of the press roundtables for it. And if you don't know what a round table is, this is this is basically the gist of it. So, uh, in some random area of the convention center, there's this whole little setup, you know, this like these like makeshift rooms, and uh, the one room I was in had all these little round tables, go figure. And then a bunch of press people sit at this table, and they leave one chair open for the person that everybody will be interviewing. And the round tables that I went to focused on two big horror remakes coming out. Well, technically a horror remake and uh, a new adaptation of a horror novel that had an adaptation that was famous in the 70s. But the films in question were Evil Dead and Carrie. Now, when I arrived at the round tables, uh, it was, no one was really in the room. I, I arrived really early. I did see Chloe Moretz, who, hit girl for some of you. She's going to be in the, the Carrie movie, and she stood right next to me, and she got really excited about something, and I was like, she's getting excited next to me. Is it me? No, it's not. It's probably not. So wouldn't that be cool though, like you're just like a small time YouTuber making videos then some like big time celebrity comes up to you and says, Oh my god, you're the, you're the guy, you made these videos, you're awesome. So the first movie that uh, we all covered was Evil Dead and the people that showed up for that were actress Jane Levy, who's the star of the movie. She's freaking gorgeous, by the way. She's absolutely beautiful, very down to earth too, very cool. I was, uh, and she sat right next to me, so that's awesome. Then there was the director of the film. But he was definitely really cool. He definitely seemed like he was very passionate about the movie and talking about it. Plus, I loved that the guy wore a Back to the Future t-shirt. That's, that's bonus points in my book. And of course, what's an Evil Dead movie without Bruce Campbell? By far, Bruce Campbell was the absolute coolest person of every single person that was at this round table. He was honest, he was hilarious, he was jokey, I loved his outfit, he did amazing poses when people were taking pictures of him. It was fantastic to see Bruce Campbell. Then, obviously, the next movie would be Carrie. First, there was director Kimberly Pierce, who some of you might know from her movies like Stop Loss and uh, Boys Don't Cry. And uh, Kimberly was definitely really cool. She definitely, you no, know, she seemed like a like a cool director. She she talked about the book and how much she loved the book and what why she wanted to make the movie based on the book and not a remake. So that was cool. Then there was Julianne Moore, the beautiful Julianne Moore. It was awesome to meet her. However, she had this. I guess she straightened her hair and she had this like hair sticking out like this. And uh, I just wanted to do the whole. Put that down. Put that down. However, if that actually happened, I'm sure violence would ensue and I would have. A black eye right now. Then uh, the always fantastic Chloe Moretz, hit girl, her friggin' self was there. It was awesome to get to meet her. She was spunky, she was cool, she, she was exactly who we who I figured she would be. She was definitely awesome to get to meet. Two thumbs up for that. 
But at the end of the day, day two was definitely my busiest day, but it was an awesome day getting to see all these celebrities. I, I, I would love to do it again. And day three, day three I didn't really do much, you know. So I'm not really going to focus too much on day three because I didn't really do a lot, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, that was about my time at Comic-Con. But in the comment section below, uh, what were some of the awesome stuff you guys did at Comic-Con? But next, uh, let me show you some of the stuff I actually bought at Comic-Con. This is actually the first convention I actually bought something from. So first up, let's talk about the t-shirts. Comic-Con t-shirt attack! So first up, we have this lovely baby blue Dr. Manhattan piece of awesomeness with the very much recognizable Dr. Manhattan symbol smack dab in the middle. Next up, we have this beautiful New 52 style Superman t-shirt. Then we have the amazing Animal Man t-shirt that I've been wanting for quite a long time. And finally, a free t-shirt I picked up because I did the round table for Evil Dead. That's a freaking sweet collection of shirts, if you ask me. Next up, action figures. So first up, we have this fantastic Comic-Con exclusive Ardman DC Nation Batman figure. He likes to run and jump off tables. Next up, we have the Comic-Con exclusive 3 and 3 quarter inch Green Lantern figures. And finally, my favorite pickup of the week, the TARDIS! Complete with 11th Doctor from Series 6. Geronimo! And finally, the last thing I picked up, the only comic book, Severed. Perfect. For Halloween. So now let's move it on to Comics Comments. So this week for Comics Comments, I want each and every one of you to tell me, how about this, what was the first convention you ever went to? How was it? Tell me in the comments, I wanna know. But anyways, that's about it for me, ladies and germs. Don't forget to like this video. Follow Carter and I on Facebook, Twitter, and DirectorsCutRadio.com. Links down below. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Favorite the video if you want to. And I'm gonna leave you guys with this awesome cosplayer montage. Cosplayer montage!